given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant be Yo, what's up everybody, it's Maddie Carwheel Back with another video And <clears throat> got my water right here In this video, I'm going to be doing shout outs I'm going to be going in detail, take my time with these These people are my acquaintances My friends, and my best friends man. My best friends, like a couple more so anyway, this is going to be a good video. I have a lot of nice things to say about everyone. Also, got the advice bag. And this advice bag, um, let me shuffle this for a little bit. All right. So this advice bag, you may not need the advice, but there's a lot of positive advice. But you need it one way or another. It's destined. There, you know, it happened for a reason. Everything happens for a reason why you pick things. Also, thank you guys for 131 subscribers. Keep subscribing. Try to give me uh, to uh, 135 by the end of the month. I'm filming this on a Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. This is going to be out on a Thursday. So thank you guys so much. Let's see what the future holds in the future. So anyway, the first person, let's get to it. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, so the first person is Courtney. Uh, check out our channel, Curious Courtney. It's in the link in the description below. Also, check out our sister channel, Maddie and Skittles. It's actually dead, so check it out if you want. Anyway, here we go. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm going to be picking one first, then give the advice. So here we go. This is meant for you, whether you think so or not. You have to look for it if you can't relate. You may, it may be in places you don't think it may be. So here we go. Here we go, Courtney. This is your advice. This one's wanting to come out. Okay. Have fun and let your hair down. And let down your hair. Sorry, my handwriting is off. I'm lucky. This might be meant for you. Stay strong. Things may be tough right now, but you can do this. I'm going to be putting that, this one back in for anyone else. I have a feeling I should for anyone else. To keep this one. Because I only made a certain amount. So, anyway. You may, may not be having enough fun in your life. You need to have fun letting your hair down. This is you right now. You need to let it down. Have fun. Let let your body loose. Have fun. Get dancing. You know, don't be so stiff. I notice every time I try to hug you, you're just like rock solid, man. You gotta have fun, man. And you know, something else is calling me from the universe. The universe is also telling me that you need, you're in a tough situation right now. You need, you need to take a leap of faith and get out of that tough situation. And also, you know, with anything else, with love or, or anything else, you know, take that leap of faith. You know, even if you, you're scared of like commitment or anything, you should definitely take that leap of faith, take that chance with whoever you want to be with so that way you can be happy. And if you, um, if you don't think that person, you know, it's gonna, let's say that person says no, you still have, you know, you can get over this, you can heal yourself, and you can, I'm struggling to talk, which is probably means you're struggling to say what you want to say to somebody. So, basically, man, I'm struggling to talk, you're probably really struggling to say something to somebody. That's, pro that's how it mostly is, so, basically, you need to... Pause a minute. Think about what you're gonna say. Like I had to pause this clip because I truly, because I truly didn't know what to say. So honestly, you can. Let's say that person that you want to talk to. Let's say it's a crush, and you know you try not to talk, and you're too shy to, you're too scared for that. If if they say no, you can heal from that and you can move on and find somebody else. But if they say yes then you could be one of the happiest people in life. It doesn't matter about looks. It doesn't matter about, um, you know, how popular they are, popularity status. It matters if they're nice, kind, and treat you right. And if they are, you'll be one of the happiest people alive. They, they can make you one of the happiest people. They can do so much for you, and you can do so much for them, and they can love you, and you can return that love. And you can, they, they, you know, you guys can have a balance of love to share with each other. And you, you're probably like, well, I'm not good enough. Well, if that person's kind enough, they will surely bring you in, and they'll, they'll, they'll love you for who you are. And if they said yes, that means they truly do love you for you. I know you're not you're mine, such a kind it's just my so that's pretty much my advice to give to you. It doesn't matter about looks; it matters about what's on the inside. And I'm just saying that I, I, everyone needs to hear that. So I don't. I hope that didn't offend you at all. So I just want to say that. Um, anyway, here's here's what I have to say about you as a shout out. So Courtney, you are literally one of the best friends I ever have. And I just want to say this: you literally things have gotten hard on you and it's kind of caused you to, to kind of be 
less affectionate. And it is because you need to have more fun. Let your hair down. And if you let your hair down and let all your worries go down the drain, then everything's going to be okay and everything's going to turn out. Just know I love you. You know what happened with my phone is? Miss Shooting Star, because you were truly out of this world. You are like literally everything I've ever wanted in a friend. And I so really appreciate you so much. You're everything I ever wanted. So, if you think you're not good enough, think again. And if you think, if you don't like who you are, you have a clue. Hold yourself into the person you are. Because I truly think you can be something when you are something beautiful. You're like a beautiful star of a galaxy. That didn't make any sense. You're like a beautiful galaxy. You are the whole Milky Way. That's in the Courtney way. <laughs> Do yourself the Courtney way. And then make your own way. Because you are truly perfect. You are pretty. You are so beautiful. Like, honestly, one glance, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, how does this girl do that? And I'm being completely honest with you. Honestly. So this is an honest video. I can give you so much advice. I can do this for everybody. But I better move on to the next person. I love you so much. And you know why? You make something, some, you make anything a fun time. You make me laugh. You have a lot of interesting things to say. And you could talk for hours. I could talk to you for hours and truly never get bored. Because you always spark something in me. And take a leap in faith on anything. Take that risk. Because it may be worth it. That's all I have to say. I love you. Also another thing. This song, like, called Ken and Barbie, it's in my head, and I feel called to tell you this, but it's a line in the song. You can love who you want to. That's all I'm gonna say. Anybody in this world, you can have, if you take that leap of faith, and take that jump across the ocean, you'll for sure make it. And whatever happens, happens. And if that person... You know, it doesn't feel the same way. You can always use other fish in the sea and other stars in the galaxy. And there's somebody who's going to respect you just as much as you respect yourself. And if it's not very much, start respecting yourself more. That person will come in for you. Next person we have, Trinity. So or Trinity, I call you that, Trinity, like I did whenever I was little. This girl is like my sister. I will get to that after I get to the advice. Tr okay. What does this say? I'm trying to remember my own handwriting. Oh, time to try something new. Take on a new hobby. This is probably Dustin. So maybe you've been doing the same things for a while. Maybe you need to switch stuff up, you know, and, you know, find a new hobby or something, or find something new to add to the mix, you know what I'm saying? Not to be pretty interesting. Anyway, so this girl, I'm giving her one the short one because she really didn't want one. Anyway, she is like my sister. She's like my second sister, a sister from another mister. This girl, like, I've known her my whole life. I love her so much, basically my whole life. She literally is everything to me. She's like a second older sister. I love her. I love you. And I, you know, I don't, I honestly don't spend much time with her, with her as my sister does. But I do in, to know her really well. But... I'm, I'm glad that her and her boyfriend are happy, and you guys have my blessing, so but I love you guys, and uh, have a great day. I'm, I'm making this one short because you really didn't want one, so I'm kind of doing make sure for So this is a friend, she doesn't want me, or he doesn't want me to mention his name, but uh, they want me to mention their YouTube channel called uh, Cupcake Mage, and I'm going to call them Cupcake. They're such a good friend. Honestly, they were there for me for everything. Oh, I forgot to draw the advice back. My bad. But they were there for me for everything, and I, I really wanted to bring that back to them. And I really appreciate them so much. They always have something fun to say. They're beautiful. I love their hair. And I love how they always have a passion, and they may be negative all the time, but they always find find something to make something interesting. You always make me laugh, okay? You, you're, you're a very interesting person, and you always make me laugh. Now time to for you guys. I flip flop all this one because I forgot, but I don't remember who was the um, chat over. Anyway, this one is common name. This one says, take a leap of faith in whatever you want to do, but afraid to do it. So whatever you're afraid to do, take a leap of faith because it may be worth it. Sorry about that. Whether it be a crush, a situation you are in a home, or, um, excuse me, if you want something, take a look at faith to go for it, 
And this one was coming out too, but I'm going to put it back in because you know, I only made a certain amount. Learn how to tame your emotions. So maybe you get angry, you don't realize, or maybe you get too, you know, sad or, you know, whatever. Learn how to contain that and learn how to control and tame it and learn how to turn it into happiness, you know. That's something positive, but that's something I would say. And it seems so easy to say out loud, but it's so much harder to do. But, you know, maybe, you know, it's something you don't realize and it's subconscious, you know. So maybe, you know, learn how to tame those emotions and learn, you know, how to turn it into happiness. Learn and maybe distract yourself, do something you love, you know and uh, you know and maybe take that leap of faith in whatever you want to do so and I think it might be worth it so next person I'm sorry I spent way too much talking uh, on the first one with Courtney just because I had so much to say and I'm, I apologize so next one on the list is Ori which I call her Oreo she's my music mama I've had her in band she's actually in a section leader in band she played baritone I play trombone which makes us in the same instrument section or similar uh she, she's been there for me for everything. I've probably on the football field because I was so upset about, you know, a friend, you know, being through to me. And she was there for me. You know, she always has the best advice. She's literally like a second mom. Okay. So I love her so much. She's literally awesome. She's so funny, too, honestly. She always has something funny to say. The joke may be a quincy teensy bit inappropriate, but, you know, I love that one about the vegetable in the wheelchair. <laughs> Eat your greens, kids. You, hey, you guys want to hear a joke? Make sure this. I got this one special for you, Lori. How would you make a science house? Get some protons and some neutrons and add some protons. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to add a sound effect. Anyway, um, yeah, you, you're literally so awesome. And, you know, nobody can replace you as a person. And you, you have some troubles deep inside. But, you know, you all, you never let that truly get you. And you're so much happier with your boyfriend, and I'm very happy for you. Anyway, let's give you some advice. This one seems to be popping out of here. What you want is coming. Keep what you're doing, and it will come. Maybe something, you know, maybe it's like a package. Maybe maybe this is something you order on Amazon. It's coming. No, I'm kidding. But maybe it's truly something you want. Maybe in love. Maybe, you know, in friends, or maybe something in school you're doing. Maybe your grades are going to come up, or whatever, something you want. So maybe that's something you want is coming. So, Ori, don't worry. If you want something, it's coming. Trust me. And that goes for all of you. So, this friend, um, this is Carter, and I call her Charizard. I literally have you in my phone. Charizard. I used to be, I used to have you in my phone as red, but I got a new one. And I decided to call you Charizard. Um, because it's a Pokemon, by the way, and uh, I just thought it'd be funny. She hates that nickname, but I, I think it's cute, honestly. But literally, me and Carter are close. We've done so much together. She's literally been there for me in the tough times. She's literally been such a good friend over the years, and I truly can't replace her. I mean, there's nothing I would fix without her. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can take her, if we have our home from this year, I'm really hoping I can take her to it, and we can have a good time, let our hair down a little bit, and party, and just, you know, clink drinks, but you always up, girl. Anyway, like, truly, she's so nice, she's, she's so caring, you know, she'd do anything for anybody, truly, and she has a good sense of fashion, a good sense of, uh, where to travel, like, she has that, like, and, you know, we run Virgos get along really well, they're quite similar. Anyway, let's give you some advice, I love you, dude. Like, you're literally so awesome. One of my best friends, actually. So, go. This one's coming out. Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. Thank you for your patience. Stay strong. Things may be tough right now, but you can do this. So maybe, you know, on the outside, you know, things look like nothing's going on, but maybe you are going through something. And I apologize for that. But things may be tough right now, but you can get through this. You know, you've been through other stuff. You got this. I know I know you're strong. There is light at the end of that tunnel. I know that sounds cheesy, but honestly, you got this. You can get through this. And whatever is going on, you got this. I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm here for you 100% if you need to talk after this video. Obviously, this isn't live, so talk to me anytime. I'm really good at giving advice. I'm really good at being here for you, so I love you so much. You have my love and my condolences for whatever what's going on. Tabe, my girl, I call you Tea Gravy. That's why I literally have you as my phone ass. You're literally one of the funnest people to hang out with. You know, she's made she's made me want to come on my show more often. She's the one who like reimbursed Maddie Carwheel. I was like literally not confident in myself at all. And you know, and I was like shy and then I was I was kinda going, but then she brought that out of me because I like I like her personality and then 
you know, she's just like talking to me. She's like, what's up, girl? And I'm like, yo, what up? <laughs> so I love her so much. She's brought the fun side on me and she can bring the fun side with anyone. She's super positive. I, I love her energy. She's a very energizer. She should be the battery. She should be the mascot of energizer battery. Um, you know, my sister was telling me that you guys have a golden girl joke. Um, and uh, she, she went to make a card for you and I told her to put on it. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> just just a, a joke. I, I, she told me about you guys and some jokes. I kind of, you know, know. Anyway, so she's so kind. Too. She'd do anything for anybody. She's so caring. She, she's a really good empath, um, really strong empath. Uh, she's one of the most strongest empaths I know. You know, very psychic, I'd say. Honestly, we twin sometimes with oblong sort. Sometimes I think that she'd be psychic. <laughs> No, but I really think she has something that's like a I get that sense. Uh, she's she's literally like been there for me. And you know, one time I forgot one black socks for band camp and she, or not band camp, it was a competition. She let me borrow a pair of hers. And one time like my uh, shirt was sticking on my uniform and she let me borrow her t-shirt. So she's literally like awesome. Like she's one of the most caring people I know. I can go on and on about Tabby, but here we go. Whatever you, advice you get is destined for you to get. Here we go. Let out your social butterfly because you are worth sharing. So maybe recently you stopped sharing your social butterfly and I think maybe you should bring it out more because your social butterfly is beautiful. I saw the wings, everything is so beautiful about it. So, you know, maybe, you know, it may not seem like, you know, you. It, to me it doesn't seem like that, but maybe you have been a little shy and haven't been showing it more. So maybe like it's the universe way of saying, bring out more of that social butterfly, Gabby. I also call her tabs because so did tab. <laughs> so, um, for this one, um, I call the Zach. I call him uh, Zach is Ratchet. I, I did. I did almost put Zach is Ratchet, but it didn't make any sense. So that Zach, Zach is Ratchet. That's why I have you on my Snapchat. Literally one of the kindest people I know. Like I'm starting to switch this up and stuff getting vice versa. But you know, at least I'm doing the shout out. Um, one of the kindest people I know, I don't know Zach too well, he's one of my acquaintances I'd say, but very, very generous, very cool, very calm and collective, very caring, you know, would do anything for anybody. Like, anytime I think of Zach, I think of like someone who's very kind, so I did that about you. I'm sorry I didn't have much to say, just I don't know you too well, but from what I can pick up, you seem like a very good person. Anyway, let's uh, give you some advice. Self-love, so maybe you should give yourself some self-love. Um, sorry, my sloppy handwriting is left-handed again. <laughs> anyway, maybe you should give yourself some self-love. Maybe, you know, you need to love yourself on the inside more often. On the outside, may not look like there's anything wrong, but maybe on the inside, you truly do need that self-love. So start giving yourself that self-love. Like, maybe uh, do things for yourself, buy stuff for yourself. You know, don't be like self, don't turn into selfish, which I know you won't. But, you know, like, you show yourself some more love. Give yourself the food you want. Give yourself, you know, the items you want. Don't hold back. Don't hold back on um, giving yourself some kindness and don't say, I'm ugly, I'm ugly, you know, and don't look at yourself in the mirror and I want you to say that. Make me a promise that you will calm down this YouTube video and promise me that you will look in the mirror and you will say, I'm worthy, I'm kind, I'm caring, I'm calm and collective, and I'm beautiful, I'm handsome, I can rock that world. I will walk that street down alone with my self-love. I don't need anybody to tell me off that's my advice for you so this is very shy um this is a very shy boy in my uh, choir class uh, named koda very kind though um you know i have you in my phone as koda the sota eh? eh it's cool i'm not making fun of you i'm, I'm just saying try to find a cool nickname for everybody for this video and also i'm keeping it like that so anyway you are very kind. You are very, I don't know you too well because you're very shy, but you are literally one of the nicest people I know. You're so caring. You are so fun on the inside. Like, I, I see that you're not that boring with your stuffed animals. I love stuffed animals too. Like, I'm sitting on one. You could call that animal juice, but I mean, damn. Um, you, you're literally one of the sweetest people I know. Sweet and kind is anything. I need better. I need, I need to tell you about the things. You're so cool. Like, literally, like, I look at your hair and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that red hair. Like, it's not just the outside, it's the inside. You are literally one of the least dramatic people I know. Anti-dramatic, actually, to be exact. 
We're, yeah, I'd really like to get to know you and become friends someday. So yeah. Anyway, I, I wish I could more uh, say more about you, but I didn't know you too well, and I apologize. But I said the best of what I saw off the surface. I got this one. Self care. This means maybe you need to, you know, give yourself some more care. Treat yourself more gentle. Treat yourself like a baby. I, I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean like treat yourself like give yourself everything you've ever wanted. And you know, maybe that may not be external thing. Like. Maybe don't give it, it, you know, maybe, oh shit, sorry, <laughs> maybe it's not, you know, like, something you can touch, but maybe it's something you can love, maybe you can give yourself some love, that's what I was about to say, give yourself some love, and, you know, give yourself some gratitude, give yourself some self-confidence, look at yourself in the mirror, do the same thing I want, that I, that I said for Zach, say, I'm worth it, I can walk that down the road, I don't need anyone to tell me off. I'm beautiful, I'm handsome, I'm kind, I'm calm and collected, and I'm cool. I can walk that road. Nobody needs to tell me twice. Damn, I need to write a song. Anyway, be more caring yourself. Give yourself some more respect, because you honestly deserve it. Because you're one of the most kind people I know. Next person is Gabby. I have you in his Gabs, um, so that's bro bomb. Literally an inside joke. I want to start talking to you more often. I'm sorry. I've been focusing on my love life and stuff. And my, I've been doing other things. And I feel like we need to talk more and gain our friendship back. Because I feel like we've drifted way crazy. You are literally one of the nicest people I know. And you doubt yourself a lot. And I think that you you have to play. It's like I was telling Courtney, um, the first person I was doing. So, you have the clay. You can mold yourself into the person you want to be. You can mold. You can, that goes for all. You can mold anything you want. And I truly think you can mold yourself some happiness. I think you can mold yourself some gratitude and some self sufficiency some self-confidence. Look yourself in the mirror and say, you know, and say, I love myself. I love my beautiful hair. I love my beautiful smile. I love my beautiful happiness. I love my beautiful self-confidence. I love my beautiful respect. Respect yourself. Respect others around you and include yourself. Don't leave yourself out. So I just want you to say, start start loving yourself more and start showing yourself some more care. It's easier said than done, but it is possible. Nothing is impossible. Well, becoming a taco in 10 years is impossible, but you know what I mean. Here's some advice. I love you. You're literally one of the coolest people I know. You're so nice, and yet you put yourself down. Heal your past and move on. So maybe there's stuff in the past that has happened to you. Now remember, none of these are wrong. They, they're, they're advice that you need in some way, physical form or mental form. So, you know, take these as you will. So, truly, truly, there's something from your past that, you know, you, you haven't moved on from and you're not healing from, that you need to heal from. Uh, it's something that you need to, you know, move on from. Maybe it's someone in the past that you need to talk to and get, get on good terms with. Or maybe it's... Um, something you know that i don't know maybe it's something that's upsetting you i don't know it's your life but you know you need to go back and fix that or you know or make it be on good terms with people or you need to learn to try to let that stuff go and you know uh and try to move on and become happier and it's easier said than done it's hard for me i'm trying to move on from stuff but it's worth starting trying and the first step is realizing it and i think you are on the right path so there's that Next person, Aaliyah. I have you on my phone as Leah the tortilla, and I can I can ever since I met you, I can always picture you eating a taco about Taco Bell eating a tortilla or like eating uh, a taco. Like if, if Taco Bell is your favorite place, I'm spot on. I don't know why I always picture you eating the tortilla. I always thought your name is Leah the tortilla. I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyway, Leah, Aaliyah, you are one of the most kindest people I've ever met. You're literally, you know, you can give people the best advice, honestly. Like, you are so caring. Like, you have so much to say. And I love that about you. You can make friends easy in a heartbeat. And I love that because, you know, you have talks to friends. You can just drop them off and be like, see ya. See you at the bus station. <laughs> hey, I'm going to the train station to get better friends. And you can do that because, you know, anyone's going to want to be your friend. You're, you're just so funny. You're so smart. You, you're you really smart classes than me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that. It would mean, like, um you know, uh, confidence smart, or kindness smart, you are smart in all three factors, don't forget that, Leah. um, you may feel down on yourself, like you're not good enough, but truly, you truly are, on the surface, what I see, we need to get closer again, and become closer friends, because truly, 
um, I really do miss your presence. I really do miss seeing you around. And I'm glad to see that you're doing pretty decent. Um, last time I talked to you, but we need to talk again. We need to hit each other up. So I'm free anytime, girl. Most times I'm free. Anyway, let's give you some advice. You're very cool, too. I think you guys are very cool friends. Okay, here we go. Here's some advice for you. Start loving you. So maybe you're not loving yourself secretly. But on the surface, everything looks okay. But then, nobody knows on the inside. So maybe you're not showing yourself much love. And I think that you should start loving you. Start showing yourself that compassion and self-confidence and you will be on the right track. Last but not least, I saved you for last. You know, best for last, buddy. Noah Buddy. That's why I have you in there as, as, uh, on my phone. as Mr. Noah Buddy on Snapchat. And I think you're very kind. You know, I, I owe you a huge apology because I used to mistreat you a lot in middle school. And that was because I wanted to fit in with everybody. I owe you a big apology and I am so sorry that I let people, you know, mistreat you right there and just sit there and watch and join in on them. Truly. It just, I just was trying to fit in with everybody and I apologize about that and I realized later on that that was wrong and I really did want to be your friend in the past and um, whether you saw it or not I truly do apologize and I'm glad we're friends now and I'm glad we can fix that and move on from the situation um, I did watch uh, J3 uh, I can't say the name too I'm in the middle it's like I'm talking to you regular with no camera this kid named uh, uh, he started with a J he put some singing in your sandwich that was like, I forgot, it was like in 8th or 7th grade, and I think it was like hot, I don't know, it was like something, I think it was hot, to, I don't remember what it was, and then you ate it and still liked it, and you were strong about that, and I respect that, and I watched it, didn't do anything, and I don't know why people didn't like you, you're such a kind, calm, collected ma dude, man, whatever, you're so strong, you, you have, you're growing up so fast, you have a job and stuff, I'm acting like a mom, but anyway, I owe you a huge apology, you are literally one of the kindest people, and I'm glad to call you one of my friends, um, and I apologize that people called me annoying, I'm, I apologize that, um, I joined in, I'm, I've changed, I literally, I literally see you for who you are, and I truly do appreciate that now, and I want you to know I moved on from that past self, and hopefully we can both move on from that, and thank you for always being there, and thank you for always being such a kind person you are, regardless of putting up with my bullshit and everyone else's bullshit, so I will admit that I was wrong and you're wrong, so let's give you some advice. Respect. Maybe it's respect yourself. Maybe, you know, that that's really gotten to you, and you haven't been respecting yourself. And I think you should respect yourself. And I, I can tell you've been respecting others. Maybe it's, you know, respecting yourself. Respecting who you are. Respecting, yes, I am Noah. Yes, I'm Noah Ellsworth. And I'm one of the kindest people, strongest people. I, I have a job. I I can carry stuff on my hands. I, I have a job and I'm doing school at the same time. And I'm balancing them off pretty well. You know? Um, you, you should definitely say that. And I think you're kind of cute, honestly. I used to have a crush on you, but not anymore. We're still friends. <laughs> um, you you are one of the kindest people I've truly ever met. And guys, if making fun of him, you guys make him love this poor man. For, you know, just because, you know, he, he can't, you know, help who he is. If you don't like who he is, just don't be his friend. Don't make fun of him. And I think we were all in the wrong, everyone in our friend here who's watching this. So, um, yeah, honestly, you should totally respect him and oh i forgot somebody else my friend destiny uh she wanted uh she didn't say she wanted a shout out but i'm gonna give her one anyway she's one of the kind of people i've truly ever met as well so i'm going to do one for her she's literally so kind she's been there for me she's been there for me through everything like whenever i was upset she was there she was there to talk it out but she did get jealous of me a few times and that's when she lashed out but um now we're good we're good now it's just kind of misunderstanding thing but she's one of the kind people. She's beautiful. She's literally, she always knows what to say to make me feel better. She's literally one of the best people to be friends with. And people misregard her for her looks. And I think that's cool. It shouldn't be. You can't judge the best cover. It shouldn't be that. It should be judging what's on the inside. You know, you can't open up a backpack and say, oh, that backpack's ugly. And you see what's on the inside. That backpack might have great pencils to write with. Or great amount of paper to draw with. Or... Um, make paper airplanes with our teacher and I'm kidding. Uh, might have a great strong trapper keeper. Might have um, great style like markers and pens and you're just misregarding what's on the outside just because it's a banana backpack. I mean, who doesn't like bananas? I mean, bananas are okay, but you know, you can't judge that. 
that backpack might be the sweetest backpack you've ever met. And I'm glad me and Destiny became friends because honestly, we met the fair. And you, I'll put the video at the end of this video of us explaining our friendship because it's really a great one. Here's the advice I have for you, Destiny. Find joy, true happiness. So maybe you're not finding the joy and true happiness. And I do think you have gotten happier and better with joy and emotions over the years. But maybe you subconsciously you're not giving yourself that joy and happiness. Self-joy and self-happiness. Maybe you need to give yourself more of that. And I know it's easier said than done. But I mean, damn. Like, you deserve that. Because you you, you, um, you see the good in others. So you try seeing the good in yourself. What's that? There's one more? I guess it's for me. There's no one else on the list. It says, learn how to tame your emotions. So maybe my emotions do get out of the loose, and maybe it's off the chain and I don't realize it. So maybe I need to learn to tame my emotions. And I think that's something I could definitely work on as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys, I hope you guys certainly enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed your shout out. Um, you might skip to your shout out if you got if you didn't find it. It's thoroughly in there. I did everyone who wanted one. So I love you guys. Have a great day. Remember, look both ways for your across that street. Remember, everyone deserves a smile. See you guys Tuesday. Peace. Oh,